five rounds and needed to return to the UFC strongweight champion. Rose, oh! Another knockdown! Rose on the UFC! Trying to close the show! She was doing a great job of feet! That is! with animals a lot better than I did with humans growing up. You know, there wasn't really much in my childhood that like made me happy other than sports, animals, like, give up happy. anything that could put, potentially get me out of the house that I was I grew up in. So like that's why I turned into Wait, martial arts. It helped my anger. It's like the classic like, you know, martial arts builds confidence and stuff, but it's true. Like it, it really did help me out. Being the champ, having the new pressures and having now everybody's on my side, and knowing what I can do, I have to learn how to deal with that, and that's that's going to be the thing. That's going to be the key to victory this time is uh, staying composed and being very conditioned for this fight. We got a whole bunch of balls, 100 tennis balls, and he just throws them at me, and I punch them. The purpose of today's ice bath is. Do it for no fucking reason. Because she doesn't need to do it. Oh. Uh, do it. Last one. Okay. okay. Ice is, you know, you, when you have a swollen ankle or something like that, you're supposed to ice because ice is good for recovery. But if you can get inside of an ice bath and control your feelings, control your emotions, if you can control your pulse, control your breathing, then that's a muscle that a lot of people don't have. There was 25 years of experience going into that fight, so I already know that I'm the best in the world. I've got the belt at home. Just be the best. That's it. Just be the best at it. Going into every fight, I always say, punch them in the face, take their back, and choke them out. And that's what I'm going to do. If another opportunity presents itself in the meantime, um, that's fine. I'm ready for anything and everything. But yeah, punch them in the face, take their back, and choke them out. She had a tough life, man. Yep. Tough life growing very up tough. And, and developed this very strong mind because controlled chaos is what mm -hmm. I call it. I've only had my mom and my brother in the States, you know, other than like a few distant relatives, but all my family's in Lithuania and you know, it's just it, it's just a, it's been a hard life, you know, hard road uh coming up since I was little and um it's just something that, you know, I guess I'm, I'm really grateful for this opportunity to, to kind of like overcome this uh, and you know I'm kind of grateful that Joanna's tried to poke at that because now I was able to look into it and read books on it and kind of study really trying to understand what mental illness is and I realized that we're all kind of we're all pretty normal we're all kind of the same we all got our issues but you know it's something that we can get stronger at it's you know just like your, your mind is just like your body you know it's a, a muscle that you can train and you can get better at. If they do a rematch, which they should give Joanna the immediate rematch, Rose would be a little bit of trouble because Joanna is a fucking machine. Nobody expected it to go down the way it did in the first one. You know, not and then, at all. In the rematch, Joanna's on weight. She's way lighter. She was 122 last week. I thought the Rose was a lamb walking out to slaughter. This time, I think it's close. I think I'm going to call the upset, though. I think I'm going to stick with Rose. I'm the challenger, she's the champion, and I'm coming for something what belongs to me. My bad. I am the champ. <laughs> I am the best in the world. It's, it's awesome. It's a great feeling. Like it's, But like I said, it doesn't define me, but it's, it's an accomplishment. It's a, it's a testament to all the 25 years of hard work that I've done. I, I know my purpose for fighting, and uh, it's to change the world. But, you know, if uh, if I'm not meant to be the champion, then I'm not. But I, I believe I am, and I, I believe I'm the better fighter, and uh, we'll just have to let God uh, decide what, what's going to happen. Anyone can win a short fight, anyone. A five-rounder, a world title, that's a real champion. That's what's so fun. I want my belt back and uh, that's the thing it's probably going to be the, the biggest goal right now to get my uh, belt back because 
shit happens everywhere so it was it was a mistake it was a big surprise uh, I cannot say it was a lucky punch she had uh, maybe very good uh, game plan for this she cut me off uh, that's it all the hard work is done so I'm trying to enjoy the time that I have you know enjoy every moment be in the present there's not much thought going into my opponent I don't even know what, what her reality is. Chris is going to run you through a couple things from DR. Okay. And then Ozzy's just going to make sure you have the right size. The only reality that matters is my own and making sure I can control my own emotions, my own thoughts, my own preparations. I'm looking forward to her, you know, showing up this time and I'm expecting her to be, you know, a better version of herself and I'm really looking forward to it. It's good. happy to do this again, to be a challenger and, and I want this belt so much and I know that Bruce Buffer will have to say and the new but uh, the true is and the real. One of the storylines going into the first fight was her really trying to sort of get into your you know your psyche. She even you know said that she thought that you were mentally weak all that stuff. It doesn't seem like she's done that this time around. She doesn't try to get under your skin or play those mind games. Have you noticed that and do you have a reason as to why that might be? I mean, there's really nothing to say, you know, so uh, I think uh, we're, we're going to see, I think she's focused on herself and tried to uh, fix the mistakes maybe that she's made in her preparation. And um, I think we're going to, I'm, I'm expecting, you know, the best version of herself and I'm really looking forward to the, to the challenge. I'm going to win the belt one more time and becoming one of the baddest female fighters in the world and watch me on Saturday. Be patient. I need to learn how to be patient. Be patient. Till Saturday, I promise to you. Do you have a goal for this weekend? You know, what is your, what do you think is going to happen? Do you have a plan? Do you want to do the knockout? Do you know when or expectation? You know, what yeah, do you think's gonna um, happen? I just be myself, you know? Yeah. Uh, just be comfortable in my own skin and, and just have fun out there and do my thing. performed 